as the old homestead donated to National Trust. And somewhere around here are some stones. And you sit around the fire and, and chat about old times. Well, someone who lives here has a rake. Maybe that's the track into the bush. Well, we went back down towards Bothwell, 300 metres or so. Been some very large trees on our way up through Interlaken, but they're all cut down. Anything as big as that tree didn't last. And poor old wombat's been stolen several times. Oh, it's like Glendambo or the Nullarbor, but it's the Great Lake and it's raining. We're heading off down to Deloraine. Just saw a couple of Maggies seeing off a wedge tail over there somewhere. And it's coming up to six o'clock and we camped over there in Glen Francis. So it's the same old place today. There's a fuel stop on the Great Lake. Just left it on that. You can click the button up. Yeah, I just did. There we go. Didn't get petrol down the. Uh, um, Some nice shots down there. The Ross. Um, so we have to do it here. I can't carry it back on the boat, so I have to use it some time. It this is the Great Lake. It's a great lake. We've just come up beside it, all the way back down around there from Maina. Mm. Now we're getting low power. Goodness gracious. This is Pine Lake, one of the 60 great walks we've been ticking Short off. Walks. Short walks. Short walks, well they're Pencil great. Pines. There's some lovely old pines up here we might be able to get a glimpse of just up the road from the Wombat. Oh, this fantastic crumbling mountainside out the road. There's some up there and just the final throes of demolition. The sun's going to set in an hour or so. It doesn't actually feel like summer now. It's getting down rather cold. There's a hundred year old cushion plant. I left it 
poke your hand down in the middle of it and see what's inside. There's one of the pines there. And the road's just over there. You just drive past it all. A lot of people don't even stop. There's a dead pencil pine. Before my fingers freeze. Like the bristle cone pines in America. It's going to be freezing tonight. It really feels and looks a bit like Gondwana land. You have to be hardy to survive it. Some pines, have we? I suppose there's water under all these rocks. It's interesting to see it on a really hot day. A bit of sunshine. It's freezing now. Getting down to a few. Allow, this is a good place to sit and let Kyan Mike share some of his secrets. I'm sure that's pencil pine. What foaming? I'm going to dash back now to the car, warm up our fingers. I don't think they were. The river. And the third thing is these unlucky guys is not a particularly large specimen. Mm -hmm. Just a specimen for the cave. The horizontal webs are there to catch them as they bounce off the roof. 100% dark. 
and they'll start because that classifies as a blockage. It can't crystallise any further that way. It will start and moving will back up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. The average, well, there is no average, but the corrupted, particularly gypsum, can change a formation dramatically um, just because of the nature of this tunnel system that you're in and the fact that it's very, very jagged probably suggests that it was torn out and that was changed by drafting rather than chemical structure. Mm. Open to debate though. <laughs> the other thing that's open to debate is the staining on the bottom. And <laughs> So they're the spectacular rims that aren't rims. So they, like anything, there's always an exception to the rule. Just the carbon dioxide that you burn in the air. Exactly. Um, like, and all this dripping, surely in a normal state, it wouldn't be dripping that quickly. But it's probably actually dripping more because our impact is usually to dry things out. Um, Spider here, except for this little one up here, right. and we thought she'd move from here to up there, but that's obviously not. No. Yeah, oh. and so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what's below us, but I mean caves are really stable. That's amazing. Yeah. sideways.
Here we come. This is the top one. This is the top one. And does that make them... That brings in more brown color. Yeah. So we're now in Solomon's King Solomon. Yeah, the new new lighting is actually lower um, wattage for photography. Oh dear, Much I lower. Yeah. You get that. Now yeah, that's all right. That's that quite one's nice. right. Yes, yeah, that's not really yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that's wide open now. Though. Mm. All right. I see. They don't. They don't uh, that's the 12 then, uh, volt lighting system. If we system. want to move them around for whatever purpose, right. uh, or change yeah. light bulbs, we don't have to be a qualified spark if yeah. it's 12 volt. Yeah. The amount of time that he spent up in our uh, cave's house here behind mm -hmm. is about 50 metres away. And carry a light design. Oh, right. Playing with 12 volt lighting. Yeah. Down lights and that sort of thing. Yeah. And that must have got him in uh, good yeah. speed. Yeah. 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 You'll recognise yeah. what it is. Yeah. Uh, Bits and pieces of calcite that have been smashed up mm. in order to try and uh, excavate out this tunnel that we're about to go through. So they oh, that's good. And that's it. Looks rather fantastic. And she piped up in a big voice and she said, And that's the three sisters. <laughs> and then aimed for faith, hope, and charity. And then aimed for something, 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 something. Oh well, dear. she and I didn't get <laughs> on very good at all. No. Because, and that uh, one looks a bit like an elephant at the bottom of this right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. I like yeah. looking at that very delicate shape. Oh, isn't that a lovely one too there? Mm. Yep. Looked a lot. Put your spotlight on the tree root again for me. There? That's got it, yeah. Got it? Yeah. There's some oh, huge yeah. trees. Yeah. I, I don't understand how it all works on the outside, but uh, when they did all this uh, uh, business of uh, changing the licensing system in mm. here, uh, they did it up on the top as well. Right. And uh, what they did... Very impressive mm. little hand barrier around, <laughs> the, around the formation. It's a wonder some of these um, columns survive. You wonder what happened, don't you? Yeah. Couldn't believe I said it. I ended up and wow, look at that. Mm. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> up the top here, of course, you've obviously seen these guys before. And uh, uh, we could, uh, I've been told that they are called aragonites. Yeah, they're big, big crystals. Uh, <clears throat> there's one section inside uh, Maracuba, beyond the fence, of course, mm -hmm. that uh, I've been on my only sole trip I've done, no, my only trip I've done mm -hmm. uh, over, over, over the fence. I don't know if I want to do another one or not. Uh, and uh, one section that we got to, oh, I was a fair way in, about three, mm. two or three hours in, uh, <coughs> we had to squeeze through in on our back and uh, uh, slight incline, and this whole wall mm. must have been oh, as big as this wall here, and it was just chock a block for that. Yeah. Just chock a block. Yeah. I couldn't yeah. believe yeah. you could see so yeah. many of them. Yeah. Uh, and of course, no two of them the same, are they? No. Uh, Looks like it's been there for a while. In the base of that water there, you might see, probably, I'm probably going to get it up, but in the base of that water there, you can see a bit of green there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I'm trying to the copper penny. Oh, right, yes. Yeah. Uh, that yeah. might have been when somebody finally yeah. decided, hang on, maybe we shouldn't be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and they stopped doing it in 1955. In 55. Oh, Yes, yeah, that's, yes, it's really interesting. Yeah. 40, interesting. 40 metres above sea level, gentlemen. Right. And uh, just on the rear of the corner here, we're going to show you some uh, nice looking clean uh, sandstone. Oh, this column, too. That's the beauty of the speaker from the cave, that one. Broken at the top is easy. Or does he just not get to the top? No, I don't think he's there. He's up there. No, he's broken. Oh. He's not. Almost at the top of the sun. 
So is this all rock from, um, it's fairly old dirt, is it? Mm. Mm. Oh, it's just yeah. Has anyone been in here during a bushfire? Uh, we haven't, well, we don't get many bushfires around here anymore. No. no. Uh, because we're all national park and, uh, and it's all so it's wet. Uh, so bushfires don't sort of start very often down here. Yeah. But the end of King Solomon's cave, out we come into the, the warmth. There's a bit of contrast from way up there. You can come down some of the tallest trees in Tas and then you can go down to some of the deepest caves. Holly Selassie, it's not particularly deep I think, but an example of the many caves for the caver. Well, we left the cave and going up to Devil's Gullet, climbing up a very rocky countryside now, getting above the tree line into all those broken boulders again. Warning signs about beware falling rocks. Mary's just been having a snooze. And there's another power station down here somewhere. Down in the forestry, this is your working forest area on the western tiers. We're climbing up to a, a spot with a great view back up to 1200 metres again. And the sun's just poking through again. Makes a difference whether the sunshine. And that's looking back over towards Cradle Mountain. And walls of Jerusalem. And there's a there's a pipeline. Just drove fifty meters and 
There's a Waratah struggling amongst the boulders. And looking at to, to collect the, the seed, but they're all open. Flow in the nest. Struggling on the side of the road amongst the waratahs oh, and struggling. They're growing like mad. rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Mad. Different bunches of lichen and another little waratah. Mm. They're pseudo berries. Little fruit. Yeah, pseudo berries. This is to stop people falling over the edge. Have to bring Andy up here. You'd like to have a look at this little lookout, Andy. It's actually built over the, the cliff edge. And we're hanging over a couple of hundred meters down, I reckon. Yeah, that whole great thing is Mount Rosso. Back again to the left side. In the photo in the brochure had someone jumping up in the air on it. Little, um, Obviously not here. 